Hello guys, now I'm gonna review the Bodhi OS and I'm gonna start it now. Okay, let's start this. So after testing the OS, uh, I just test tested the OS, uh, it was smooth. Uh, okay, is the boot screen. It was smooth and it was actually uh, very fast as compared to the previous versions. It is RC1 version uh, as you know. Uh, there are not a lot of applications in the OS itself. I just tested it and okay. Let's log in into my account and see what's there. So here's a quick start guide you can refer it to when you want. So uh, let me show you the applications. Here are the application that in the XCC you get eBay text editor in the internet you have Midori as your default web browser. In the navigate you can navigate your home and all the folders from here only. You can take a screenshot, you have a desktop. You can change the widgets here. Let's add a clock. Add okay. Let's add settings also. It will be fine. Okay, so um uh, you have uh, as I said you are running the 3.0.0 RC version in the enlightenment you have 0 0.19.0 alpha uh, what do you say uh, uh, launcher and you have that body theme here you have only one theme to reach all uh, which is the body theme you can obviously add more themes uh, by downloading it from the webs and you know you can do it and okay uh, so let's check out some other things also in the system tools you have this terminology plus the sudo enlightenment and david mac installer obviously let's open the terminology so here's the terminal you are using here and uh, the ram usage is pretty low not that much higher but it's fine so let's close it and uh, as you as i said that the animations are very fast yeah, as uh, you just have seen it so okay let's check out the system settings okay so you have an option to change the colors fonts borders transitions of your desktop and the apps you have these apps you have ibar applications you have uh desktop environments also and we have the uh, genome server this is pre-installed too mm. it's quite uh, fuzzy for me to uh, use this we have virtual desktop and you have windows options you can change the menu settings obviously uh, you have form of performance options also and uh, let's do it here only Okay, and uh, you can change the language also. So that's all these basic things. Uh, you can uh, add more plugins to the desktop. Yeah, uh, you can have an option of extensions also. You can add it if you want. Mm. Yeah, it's the default. If I just forgot. Uh, so I guess that's it. Uh, you can check out the OS yourself only and uh, okay. So settings panel. As I said, you have an option to change the colors, so it's your choice. And you have an option to change the fonts. You get a large variety of fonts here, and you have an option to change the size of the fonts too. That's good. You have an option to change the application theme also. Uh, here it is. So you have a, you also have a lo lot of variety of this. Apply. I like I love Numix, so it will be fine. And uh, so I guess that's it. Uh, yes, here's the dog bar here. You can navigate and uh, add widgets or something if you want. It depends on you. Mm. So I guess that's it. Uh, I'm done. I just showed everything. So it, if it suits you, yes, you can install this OS. It's not a problem. It is based on Ubuntu, so it will the installation process will be same as Ubuntu. I just made a previous video, so you can check it out if you want. And uh, so let's shut this down OS. 
and uh, power off so you can check out my next video for the review i'll be doing a lot of reviews this month so you can check them out if you want so thanks bye bye peace